In a world where snooker tables were once kingdoms ruled by men, Ung On Yi emerged, cue in hand, to redefine the rules. Let's take a dive into her journey. Starting off at number 12, how it all started. Ung's foray into snooker began under the watchful eye of her father, developing a passion for the game at the tender age of 13. Her early exposure to the sport, coupled with her innate talent, set the stage for a remarkable journey in the competitive world of snooker. One day, he took me out with him to the competitions, and I saw him in his snooker suit, like, like me today. Then I think it will look great on me, and then I asked my father to teach me how to play, and then I started to enter some local tournaments. Until 2009, I won my first uh, overseas in India, and then after that, I decided to choose snooker as my career. Moving on to number 11, rising through the ranks, the quest for excellence. The snooker scene soon bore witness to Ung's burgeoning talent as she climbed the ranks, marking her territory in a sport long dominated by men. Her milestone victories at the IBSF World Snooker Championships and three World Women's Snooker Championships underscored her prowess and heralded a new era in women's snooker. It was absolutely over the moon and I actually I couldn't believe it well, after I lifted up the trophy or uh, after the frame, I shake hand with my opponent, I still couldn't believe it. And then after that, I ran to my coach and celebrated together. Climbing to number 10, breaking ground, Ung On Yi's historic wins. Ung's triumphs on the snooker table have been both significant and symbolic. In 2010, she clinched the gold medal at the Asian Games as part of the women's six red snooker team, and a bronze in the singles competition showcasing her versatility and skill in different formats of the game. Her consecutive wins at the IBSF World Snooker Championships and a historic first ranking event win at the Northern Championship in 2012, without losing a frame, were just the beginning of her illustrious career. Jumping to number 9, a role model and a pioneer. Ung On Yi's impact extends beyond her achievements on the table. Her ascent to the number one position in the World Women's Snooker Rankings and her inspirational victories against formidable opponents have made her a role model for aspiring players, especially young women looking to carve their niche in the sport. Landing at number 8, Defying Odds, the main tour dream. In a groundbreaking move, Ung was awarded a place on the World Snooker Tour becoming the first Asian woman to compete on the main international men's tour. This historic achievement was not just a personal victory for Ung, but a monumental step forward in the inclusion and recognition of women in professional snooker. Coming in at number 7, training hard, aiming higher. Behind Ung's success lies a relentless training regimen honed at the Hong Kong Sports Institute under the guidance of coach Wayne Griffiths. Her dedication to the sport is matched only by her ambition to keep improving and competing at the highest levels, proving that the snooker table knows no gender, only talent. Before we move on, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Arriving at number 6, the legacy continues. With each victory, Ung On Yi not only adds to her tally of titles, but also to her legacy as a pioneer in women's snooker. Her recent wins at the Australian Women's Open and the Albanian Women's Open, where she showcased her resilience and skill, are a testament to her status as one of the most successful players of her generation. As we peer into the future of women's snooker, the trajectory set by pioneers like Ung On Yi provides a compelling narrative of growth, inclusivity, and the breaking of new grounds. Ung's ascent to the pinnacle of women's snooker not only showcases her personal brilliance, but also signifies the sport's evolving landscape, offering a glimpse into what the future may hold. Moving on to number 5, Rising Stars and Global Expansion 
The horizon shines bright with emerging talents who, inspired by figures like Ung, are poised to take the sport to new heights. The increasing visibility of young prodigies, particularly from Asia, hints at a future where women's snooker boasts a more global, diverse competitor base. This influx of talent promises to elevate the competitive standard, making for a more thrilling spectacle for fans and a challenging environment for players. Finding a spot at number 4 – Institutional Support and Professional Opportunities The inclusion of Ung On Yi and other top female players in the main international men's tour is a monumental step forward. It not only acknowledges the skill and potential of women players, but also offers them a platform to compete against the best, irrespective of gender. Looking forward, we can expect to see more institutional support in terms of training facilities, coaching, and financial backing, which are crucial for nurturing the next generation of players. Last year, I had a chance to play at the Crucible for the ladies' events. Crucible is the biggest arena for the snooker, so hopefully I will have a chance to go back there to play again, maybe qualify to a professional player so I can play there. Overall, I believe the number of the opportunities for ladies and for disabilities is heading in a very positive direction with more and more publicity about the game. Moving to number three, technological advancements and fan engagement. With advancements in technology, the future of women's snooker also lies in how the sport engages with its audience. Streaming services, social media, and interactive platforms offer new ways to connect with fans, providing behind-the-scenes access, live coverage, and a community for enthusiasts. This digital evolution will play a key role in growing the sport's popularity and accessibility. Landing at number two, advocacy for equality and recognition. The journey ahead also involves continued advocacy for equality in snooker, from prize money to tournament opportunities. Figures like Ung On Yi, through their success and platform, highlight the need for parity and recognition in the sport. The future of women's snooker is intertwined with the broader movement for gender equality in sports, where achievements are celebrated regardless of gender and opportunities are made equally available. The standard for men is generally higher and is more competitive. I think the main difference between the men and the ladies snooker is the match opportunity. I still remember my very first time playing with uh, James Watana in an exhibition. I was very nervous and I struggled a lot because uh, everything is new and a surprise. Not to mention about the pressure, I just couldn't play my usual game. And then compared to different matches I play now, I believe the game can only be better with enough practice with such environments. And finally, at number one, the cultural shift towards inclusivity. Finally, the cultural perception of snooker as a male-dominated sport is changing. As more women break through the barriers and excel on the global stage, the narrative shifts towards inclusivity and diversity. This cultural shift not only enriches the sport, but also inspires future generations to pursue their passion in snooker, knowing that the field is open to all who are willing to aim for excellence. Lady snooker player is not very common across Asia. I think snooker is a gentleman game, but I think the media has a huge influence on how society views women. And also, there are more and more companies are making an effort to promote the diversity and equality and more noise. So hopefully that will make the old wheels change. That's all for this video. What are your thoughts on Ung? Let us know in the comments. For more snooker videos, click on the screen right now.